Hello, hello, it's Dumplet here. Today's a special day because Dumplet just hit 314 subscribers on the YouTube channel. Thank you everybody for subscribing and Dumplet will promise to provide better quality math content solutions and tutorials in later videos. But for today, we have a question from Algebra. Find the area of the circle with equation x squared plus y squared plus 12x minus 14y minus 15 equals 0. And to keep up with the theme of 314 subscribers, let's use pi equals 3.14. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now, the circle is uh, currently in the general form, but since we can apply our completing the square scales, let's change this into the center radius form. So we can easily get the uh, area via the radius. So let's do that. Now, first thing to do is collect the x's and the y's respectively. We're going to get this. So collect the x squared and the 12x into one factor under one parenthesis, y squared and minus 14y into one parenthesis, and the constant, we just put it on the other side. So it's negative 15, we put it on the other side, other side, it's going to be 15. Now, to complete this square, what do we have to put in these two? So it's very simple. We take uh, the coefficient of x, that's 12, we divide it by 2, and then we square it. Dividing it by 2, we're going to get 6. Squaring it, we're going to get 36. All right? For the negative 14y, the coefficient of y is negative 14. Half it, we're going to get negative 7. We square it, we're going to get 49. Now, obviously, since we added on the left-hand side, we're also going to add on the right-hand side. So we're going to add 36 and 49. Now, this part, 15 plus 36 plus 49, that's equal to 100. And for these two parts, we can uh, get their respective uh, factoring. Now. All we have to do, we just half the middle term, same thing, we just half to 12, we're going to get 6. So this is factored into x plus 6 quantity squared. And for this part, the coefficient of y is negative 14, we're going to half it, so that's negative 7. So this part is factored as y minus 7 quantity squared. And we have the line, sorry, we have the circle in the center radius form. Now this is very nice because this part, the 100 is r squared. So all we have to do is very simple. We just take this value, which we know is going to be r squared. And all we have to do is we multiply it by pi. Since pi r squared is the area of the circle. So we're going to get pi times 100. Now, since we're asked to use that pi equals 3.14, so let's do that. 3.14 times 100, and you guessed it. The answer to today's problem is 314. And this will be our final answer. Again, thank you for 314 subscribers. Thumblet will continue to provide quality math content to everybody. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!